Hello and welcome to this exciting Toxic City Mall battle report based on a custom mission that I've done myself. It's called The Rescue and it involves two objectives to rescue uh, one group of children and their mother respectively. Uh, there's two groups of survivors. Well, not so much groups. This is kind of There's only three survivors and a, and a dog companion. So um, this is a smaller player game uh, although it's just it's just me versus the system um, but the setting is this uh, one group of survivors has an underground kind of bunker thing it's kind of Ned's bunker uh, which I believe you learned about in the compendium there anyway uh, the group of survivors they're in Ned's bunker they've got access to uh, radio they pick up some disturbing distressing sounds sounds like children in in need of rescue hence the title rescue um sounds like it's coming from a diner um ned thinks he knows or ned and phil they think they know which one it is so they tool up and they head out towards one of their secret openings up onto the surface and head towards towards the diner that way and um at the same time there's another group of survivors, uh, but one of them, called Raoul, he's a bit of a survivor anyway, he was a survival nut beforehand. Uh, he picks up a distress call from a, a female, who's obviously found access to a radio somewhere. And it sounds like this one's coming from us, like the city mall, what used to be, and he knows where that is. So he takes his trusty companion Martins with him, which is his German shepherd dog, and he heads out through his uh, secret um, entrance way. And if he finds it's all on fire, so um, he knows he's going to have to find another way back. So what he's going to do is try and find um, the source of his distress call, which is the mother. Um, whilst the other two, Phil and Ned, are looking for the children. The mission itself revolves around rescuing everybody, so um, nobody wins unless they're all they're all out so that's where we join it they both enter the city and they're obviously looking for their respective um, objectives so I'll see you in the mission hi guys so this is what the board looks like it's a six tile game board that I'm using um, I'm just gonna go through the tiles for my own uh, reference really because I think I might want to play this game again because this is, as this is one I've made up I don't want to forget how it's laid out so bottom left is 4D, top left is 5M, the uh, top centre is 6M, bottom centre is 5B, bottom right is 6C, and top right is 5E. Um, okay, start with the objectives. One here in the centre of the mall itself, uh, one over here in the corner of the diner on the street. Uh, game starts with one, two, three, four, five zombies, but they're trapped behind closed doors in the mall. However, if you open any of the mall doors, um, then they all open as the electronic system. And there may be a reason to do that, which I'll explain in a moment. Um, two zombie spawning zones, bottom left, top right, by the police car. Two cars, as you can see, both with something good in them. Um, Pit mobile over there, that one there is drivable. Uh, the police car is drivable on a 50 50 die roll. If you search the police car, which you probably would do, uh, it sets off an alarm of two noise tokens uh, which can be deactivated by using one action. Um, players start here. Phil and Ned come in here, this pile of rubble here, which is also the exit, which is where all players need to go back through once they've gotten both objectives. Raoul starts on this burning pile of rubble here as he comes through, but it's too, the fire is too intense to pass back through. So once he has come through, he then has to find a way over to there after he gets his objective. Um, at the end of turn five, and I'll do that using these markers here, at the end of turn five, this, it's this green objective here, this pile of rubble here is burning so much it just collapses to the street here but it does unlock well it opens these doors automatically which then opens all these doors okay but you might need to go that way through to get out I don't know it's up to the players right well depending on how the game goes um, as it's a custom mission players are starting with custom items 
Phil is starting with an assault rifle and a machete. Ned is starting with a sword off shotgun and a crowbar. Uh, Raoul starts with his trusty dog Martins, a shotgun and a fire axe. So that's where we begin the game and it's Phil to go first. One thing I did neglect us to mention was I have taken out the ultra red weapons that you get with the Toxic City Mall and um, some of the more common items that you don't want as there's not that many players playing otherwise you'll be overrun with useless items if you search. So Phil's going to go first, um, so he's going to go one, two, three, he's right up there, Ned will join him, that'll be the end of his go, Raul, one, two, his dog can move three zones, but um, I think he's going to leave it there because when he opens the door the zombies will spawn. Okay, zombies go, nothing to do other than spawn. We'll start with the um, bottom left. Okay, it was a toxic walker in each spawn zone. One there. And one over there. Okay, I will put these spawning cards to one side. So that's the end of the first go. Remember, after five rounds, that collapses. So, first pair taken passes to Ned, who's going to use his sawn off shotgun to shoot at the toxic walker right there. That should be quite cool. Okay. Alright, let's have a look. What does he need? Uh, so, he's got two dice. Hitting on freeze. Yes, two hits. Blam. That toxic Walker is dead. Because he's not in the same zone, Ned doesn't suffer a wound. Okay, so he shot him. He's gained his experience. It's Raoul's turn now. And he's going to. Oh, before we go on. Noise token. That's how it works. They do make a difference in this game. Okay, Raoul opens the door. This is obviously going to spawn four zombies. So, we'll go one, right, one, two, three, four. So, first card, one, so you can see it. One, two, three, four. Fourth one is nothing, so he's got nothing right. So he's essentially he's spawned three walkers there. One, two, and three. Nothing in the other room because nothing happened. Alright, so those zombies are there. And it's now Phil's go. He is going to I just realized Ned shot the zombie. He could have moved. He could have moved too. So I'm gonna do that. Player's prerogative. Since I'm gonna Alright, Phil is gonna go one, two, and he might as well stick with Ned. Stick together, I think, in this game. Which is the best way. Um, so, it's back, so it's zombies go now. Um, well, the only zombies are, uh, that are here are these ones. And he's going to obviously move towards Raoul and Martins. Okay, at the end of the at the end of the zombies' movements and so on. They're spawning bottom left. Toxic runner. Top right, Toxic Walker. And there they are, in all their glory. They've got a runner here now, this is not, not good. Sorry about that, press the stop button by accident. Um, toxic Walker over here, that's not too much of a big deal. Uh, as long as they stay out of melee range, this should be fine. 
Um, but it's Raul's go now because he's got the first player token. Uh, what's he going to do there? Well, this door is in the same zone, so he, he's technically he can shoot through there. Two zombies there in that. I mean, uh, he's got a son of shotgun, so that's two dice sitting on fours. They do do two damage. Um, is he going to do that? Let's first go. Yep. Two dice. Yep. So four. So one of them dies. So that's blam. That's a noise token there. In that zone. Uh, gives him another experience point. There. Um. Gonna shoot again, or yeah, he's gonna shoot again. Same again for the other one hitting on fours. Yes, blam. That's another one. Blow her head off. All right, so there we go. So that's two moves and Here's what we're going to do. He's going to send Martins in to search. I just can move three zones. So go one, two. We can send him in to search this room. Three. Well, he's in the the room with the objective now. He can. He would have to spend another point to search and find the objective. Um, so that's. Free. So that's where his dog is at the moment. Okay. So it's Phil's go. Phil is going to use his assault rifle to try and shoot the toxic zombie behind him. That's three dice hitting on fours. I should have moved the counter over. Alright, three dice hitting on fours. Yes. Blam. Noise token. Phil going to an experience. You see how much you've got to remember here, guys? It's a lot easier when there's more players because there's always someone to tell you that you forgot to do something. So that's his first move. Second move. Third move, he's going to search the police car. Finding a gas mask. Now, if you don't know what a gas mask does, um, it basically makes you immune to toxic spray. So even if you do melee in the same zone as a toxic zombie, uh, when you kill them, their blood won't wound you. So, but because you searched the police car, that sets off the alarm. And that's going now. Two noise tokens. Um, Ned. He'll move up. One move. Two moves. He'll turn off the alarm. That's two moves. Ah, uh, three moves. He'll just move up a, a zone there. Uh, that brings that to the end of a player's turn there. Zombies go, and then I've got to do the uh, round again. So, zombies go. The only zombies that can move are here, and they're coming up. So there's that. So zombie spawn. Bottom left. We've got a fatty. Um, which we can place there now. There he is. Top right we have a walker. Not bad. Not bad at all. So it's not looking too bad. Okay, so that's the end of Zombies. Third go. I think if I got it wrong, I apologise. It's my mission, so I could say the rubble collapses on mission on round four if I wanted to, but you know. At round five, or where I think round five is, it will collapse. So that's the end of round three. So we're in round four now. First player token moves back to a Bill, who is going to simply move one, two, 
three. Now we'll do the same. We go one and two. And he'll leave it there. All right, rounds go. Shotgun, two dice. Hitting on fours. Let's first go. Yes, blows one of the zombies away. Right, now, instead of shooting the next zombie for his second go, he's going to command uh, Martins to search for the objective, which he will do. He finds the objective, and it is the mother. All right, so he's got the objective, but the surprising thing is, what was part of the special mission, the mother turns out to be, in fact, Wanda. So yes, there's another player now. This is gonna, she's going to go on the end here. Yeah, she's got uh, a gas mask and a crowbar in reserve. But she's carrying a pistol and a chainsaw. She's got free experience because she's killed a few zombies already, searching for her, her beloved children, which she desperately wants to find. Okay, so she will be going after Raoul. Uh, but Raoul's still got a move left. Oh, before I move on, let's place her model on there. Um, so he's got a move left. He's going to shoot that last zombie. So hitting on fours again. Right, so, two times. Hitting on fours. Yes, blam. Okay, so he's now on four experience. That's one objective gained. Uh, now, we're on Wonders Go, who can move. She's going to go one, two, three. She's going to stay there with Raoul, wait for his trusty dog to come back. No, she's not. She's going to go one, move there and wait there. She's going to carve this dude up. One move, two move. She's going in the room with the toxic zombie. She knows no fear. That's going to use her chainsaw. Five dice hitting on fives. Come on, chainsaw. Yes! She hacks him up. Ooh. Right, okay. Put her experience on. Yep. That's a noise token, yes, I know. Right, not right there. So, um, that's the end of the players' go. Zombies turn. Only zombie on the board that can move is the fatty here, going into the room with Wanda. She doesn't get affected by the blood spatter from the chainsaw because she has the gas mask. Okay, so there we are. Um, that's the end of the zombie turn. Oops. That's the end of round four. So at the end of the next round, that rubble goes if we don't get the heck out of there. All right, so moving on, it's now Ned to go first. And he's going to open the door spawning several zombies. So we spawn one, two, three, four. Well, he'll spawn four cards worth of zombies, I should say. So let's have a look. Start from the bottom room and working up. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Two walkers in the bottom room, two walkers in the room above it, one toxic runner in the room above that, and nothing in the room on the top. So that's how the board looks after spawning. Just have a quick run through while we're here, see where the doors are. Obviously, you've got a door in this bottom room here, doors connecting it up here. Top door is open, but there's a barricade in place. 
door in this room here, door on that one, door there, doors, 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 doors. Okay, so we're on the, the vital turn, and we're starting with Ned, so he's had first move, so that's one move, uh, so he's got two moves left, so he's going to try and shoot the two zombies in the first room. Uh, hitting on freeze with two dice. Yes. Blam. One. One noise token. So I'm just removing the noise tokens in the previous go. There's no one here to remind me. Um, and he's going to try and shoot the other one. Two dice hitting on fours. Yep. Blown the other one away. One. So that's one, two, three. Let's go. Raul is next. Um, he's going to command Martin's back. One, two, three. Uh, he's going to send him on ahead. One, two, three. That's two. Oh dear. He's trapped here. He is trapped here. Um, what does he want to keep? So one, two, three. That was one move. Just trying to work it out. Hmm. Hmm. Well, technically, he could still command Martins when he's not with him. So. then that would leave Wonder and Martins on their own this side trapped by this rubble here with all these other zombies um hmm yeah free right start that move again Raul is going to go one two Three. And to heck with you. Uh, that's what he's going to do. He's trusting Martins to look after Wanda. Right, Wanda's go. Five dice hitting on fives to kill this fatty with her chainsaw. Five dice hitting on fives. Oh no! Only one wound. Right. Okay. So that's one move. We'll try again. He's got two wounds, the fatty, which will have regenerated by the time she goes again. Try again. Oh dear. No. One, two. Ah. Uh, Last. Chance Saloon. Oh yeah, baby! Kills him with the third go. Vroom. Two experience. No, one experience. Is it one or two? I'll be right back. I was right, it was one experience. So that's at the end of Wonders Go. It's now Phil's turn. Last player. And he's going in the room. One, two, search. That's the kids. I don't have any models for those. Uh, just pretend like or, or leave them with him one two um, does he search or does he shoot through he's gonna shoot through uh, yeah three dice hitting on fours three dice hitting on fours I'll take a shot in that room. Final go. Yes, he kills one. Blam. Bill's experience goes on one. Um, so that's the end of his go. That's the end of yeah, end of that player turn. And it is zombies to go next. So they'll go towards the noise here or towards the bed. Actually, he can't. That door is still shut. 
he would go towards the noise. That's what he would do. Then they'll spawn. Bottom left gets a walker. Not bad. Bottom left gets a walker, which is there. No problem. And for the top right, ah, actually, it's a manhole cover. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Only the tiles of the man that plays around with manhole covers, and it's Ned, I believe. Anyone else? Nope, gets a walker. Uh, so it's just there. Right, okay. Not bad. Uh, balance wise, it's not too bad um, so far. That's uh, the end of. I don't know why there's a noise token there. I think it might have just fallen off, so he wouldn't have gone there. He would have gone towards the players. Sorry about that. I don't know why there was a noise token there. Like I say, he must have dropped it there or something. Or forgotten to take it off. Um, like I say, that's the end of... Uh, end of the zombie go. Which means it is... Um, round five which means this collapses <laughs> blocking the way I'll just move that there now because that side of the building has fallen down it's unlocked all the doors like an electronic fault if you will it's unlocked all these doors Right, that's it, all the mall doors are open. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven with the big one. Okay, that's just for my own reference. So that has happened. Uh, we're on to Raul as the first go. Who gets the first go here? Um, noise tokens for previous rounds are removed. I'll slide around all over the places in this game. Um, so Raoul goes first. Uh, so it's a normal walker. So he's not he's not worried about entering melee. Um, so he's going to do that. No. He's going to command Martin to try and get to him. And he can probably do that. One, two, three for one action. One, two, three for two actions. One. Yeah. Right, so, yeah. One, two, three, one action. Two actions, and for his third and final action, he's with him. Yeah, so sorry about that. I was just talking out aloud in my head. So that was Raoul's go. It's Wanda's go now. She can move two zones per go because she's on roller skates. So one, two, three. They're all together. That's good. Phil's go. He's going to shoot that zombie in front of him with his assault rifle. Three dice hitting on fours. Which he does. Blam. Bill's now on free experience. Let's go. He's got to enter melee with a crowbar. One dice sitting on fours. Shall I have a go at? I'll have one go at that. Yes, and he kills the zombie. Smacked her across the head with a crowbar. Whack. So. He's now on two experience points. Let's just have a quick look at the experience points. Well, after his go, we'll do that. So that's that's his first move. 
Um... Yeah. Second move, he'll go there with the other guys. We're going to head on this way now. Phil's going to have to come up. Let's see this go. Uh, so that was Ned's go. Back to so now it's the zombies turn. Um, we'll do the one over here first. Heading towards the players. These all get to move now. Um, right, so... You'll have to go around. That's there. You'll have to go through. There. And there. So they're all after them now. So that's what the board looks like. To the best of my ability. Um... turns now because the building has collapsed and yeah there it is a lot of zombies are after him now at this stage of the game well not that many but more than they've been having they've been very lucky with the spawning cards I haven't fixed it I swear to you um, well, I did play one game through before and it wasn't as lucky nowhere near as lucky anyway I believe we're moving the First player taken to Wanda, who now gets to go first. Um, she's not now. Uh, she's going to move up. Two. more moves left Ooh, this is tricky uh, no she'll end her move there yeah Phil's move now so he goes one two one two three he's got the kids with him I've got your kids wonder um, Ned's go He's going to move up. One, two. His third go, he's going to take a shot with his shotgun. Two dice hitting on threes. Yes. Blows him away. Not bad. He's on three experience points now for this game. Uh, oh. Okay, so he's going to... Send Martins on ahead. One, two, three. Well, that's one move. Two move. Three moves. That's the end of Raoul's go. And now it's a zombie turn. Only one, oh, one zombie down here. Moves up there. These zombies are... the quickest route okay they're just moving up okay zombie spawn bottom left of the board we have a fatty that's cool there we are uh, top right we have another fatty so there that's how the board is looking too crazily busy. Yeah. Not too bad. Here they are. We're almost at it. Almost on the home stretch to go down to the exit, which is here. So, first player token now goes to Phil. Hmm. 
He's just going to move up to the police car. One. Ned, however, he can't really do anything. Uh, so he's going to stay where he is, too. Raul. Hmm. He's going to move up one, so he's in the same zone as Martin's. And then shoot his shotgun. He's got two goes at this. Two dice hitting on fours. Two dice hitting on fours. Get the fatty. Nope. Missed with the first one. Um, he got him with the second one. Yes. Blam. Yeah, fat bugger. So two shots there. So that's two noise tokens down. Um, there we go. Ah, that's the end of his go. Wanda's turn. She is going to run. One, two, three. She's on the exit, but she can't leave until the children are with her. That's the end of Claire's turn. Zombies go. Let's do these down here. Moving out to the street. Yeah, um, Fatty's moving up. These zombies. Oh, uh, yeah, they went the wrong way, didn't they? These guys. They shouldn't have come in here. They should have. Oh, well, it's too late now. Um, spawn, bottom left. That's the previous one. Walker, top right. Two walkers. Uh, so top right, there's two walkers. One in the bottom left. So that's how the board is looking at the moment. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Wanders on the exit, just waiting for the rest of the guys, which would be typical of players. All right. So, first player second goes to Ned, and he's going to move up, up one. Actually, so he's going to move up one and shoot. He's still an off shotgun. You have, have two goes at it. So that's two dice hitting on threes. Yep. Killed one. Now for the other one. Yep. Killed both of them. So that's another two experience points for him. He's on five experience now. Uh, Raul. Raul's turn. He's going to go one, two, three. So he's going to stand there with Martin's Raoul's turn. Wanda's just waiting. Phil's going to go one, two, three. So he's in that zone two. And that's it. Zombies go. Uh, right, so one. One. These guys are coming through here. These guys are coming through here. There we are. So that's a zombie go. Zombies moving. Spawning time. Bottom left. A walker. Top right. Nothing. So bottom left gets a walker. And there we are. Now on to Raoul's go. And do you know what? Yeah, he's thinking. Let's go. One, two, three. Actually, send his dog on ahead. There we 
go. Wanda's still waiting. Phil, we go one, two, three. So he's on the exit. It costs an action to get out of the exit. So it's literally that close. Um, and then it's just going to go one, two, three. This would leave the zombies to move. And they move up after them this way. That's how they would look. Then they would spawn. Bottom left would be nothing. Then the next one would be manhole covers. No one is standing on a manhole cover, so technically none spawn. That's how it would look. Um, then it would move on to Wanda going first. She can now because the kids are on the um, what do you call it? Exit. She'd take her kids with her. That would be her moves. That's how that would work. So Wanda would do that. Phil would go behind. Ned would go one, two, three. Raul would go one, out, two for his dog and that is how it would pan out for that game well uh, it's not bad I'm quite impressed uh, it's not really too much tweaking maybe a little bit more to make it slightly harder but not too much um, maybe another spawn zone I don't know but it's a player victory that's how many zombies are left a player victory which I'm always pleased about. It's going to come a time where the zombies are going to win and that's not going to be good in anybody's books. But there you go. Thanks for joining me on this custom scenario, which I call the mission, the, the rescue, sorry. This mission called the rescue. And I hope you join me again in the future. Thank you ever so much for watching this battle report. So all that remains is for me to say, thank you thank you so much for watching these it's a it's, it's really enjoyable to do i mean it takes a lot of setting up and whatnot but it's really enjoyable to film and play through um i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did um and i'll see you guys on the next video thank you for watching